Hello, this is Eric at Prince Short Ford, and we're taking a look at the newly redesigned 2021 Ford F-150 in a Lariat trim, and powered by a 3.5-liter V6 EcoBoost engine, providing you with excellent power for towing, hauling, and 4x4, and with some great fuel efficiency, and coming with running boards down below. But first, taking a look at some of the new features in the bed of the truck. First, you have your uh, remote release tailgate with a new design on top. You have a rugged work surface here with measurements, holes for your clamps and stuff like that. You also have your two kilowatt pro power on board so you can use your truck as a sort of generator for your tools. And then two more clicks and the tailgate goes back up. Well, let's take a look inside. Then looking at the back seat, we have seating for three with a nice full leather interior. You have fold-out armrests with two cup holders in the middle, as well as two more in the middle there with a 12-volt power outlet, USB and USB-C, 120-volt power outlet, and heated rear seats. And the seats can be folded up and out of the way to accommodate any other cargo. This vehicle does have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your truck. And inside you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks. You have power telescoping and folding towing mirrors. And then three memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat, steering wheel, pedals, and your mirrors. Now sitting in the vehicle with it running and looking at the steering wheel, on the right hand side you have your controls for your center info screen here where you can look at your fuel economy, trip one and two, your eco behavior, auto start stop status, and driver assistance features. You can exit out of that and look at your truck info where you have your tire pressures, off-road status, power distribution, engine info, seat belts, and driver assistance. You can look at your towing information, your navigation controls, phone controls, audio controls, and settings for your screen and some other features around your truck, as well as my view, which is a sort of favorite screen for any of those subcategories for ease of access. Then moving on to the left where you have your cruise controls as well as your lane keeping system and uh, distance pacing technology and your hands-free phone and radio controls along the bottom. Then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is radio series and Bluetooth capable, so you have some options there for whatever you want to listen to. You have your Bluetooth phone controls, your navigation screen, so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels. Your favorite screen, much like my view, you can access all of your apps, controls, whatever you need to from there. You have your whatever apps you may have installed, settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle, and your general truck features such as driver assistance, pro power on board, zone lighting, towing, and owner's manual. But then shifting into reverse, you do have a backup camera with a full 360 view, so you're hopefully not going to hit anything. And then you have dynamic hitch view, so you can zoom in and have an easier time hooking up a trailer or something of the sort. Then above that, you have your uh, auto start stop shut off, your camera view, hazards, hill descent assist, traction control shut off, and you have a premium b sound system in this vehicle, so your music is going to sound pretty decent. Moving down from that, you have your media controls and your climate controls here with dual zone front climate, heated and air conditioned front seats, and a heated steering wheel so you can stay comfortable no matter the weather or climate. To the left of that, you have your pro trailer backup controller, trailer brake controller, and 4x4 controls with 4 auto and a locking rear differential, as well as your drive mode selector for normal, slippery, deep snow sand, mud ruts, and rock crawl mode. And then on the opposite end, you have tow haul, eco, and sport mode, so you can customize your driving experience quite a bit there. Then moving on to the right, we have a 12 volt and 120 volt power outlet, and this button up here to open the compartment above your glove box for more storage. Then you have this compartment down here with a USB and USB-C, so you can plug something in from there. You have your main shifter with select shift on the side so you can manually shift through your gears and can be collapsed so that you can have more space there. You have two cup holders and your lockable center compartment slash armrest with a removable tray, ton of room inside, and another USB and USB-C so you can plug something in from there too. Then looking back you have a power sliding rear window and last but not least a twin panel moonroof up top so you can land the some, some sunshine. But that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.